Yeah, really excited about starting conference play this week. Got a great opponent in Middle Tennessee to play, a big rivalry game. Those games are always uh, big games, and uh, I know our guys will be excited, and so will they. And uh, Coach Mason is doing a really good job down there. I, I know they've only played two games, but you can see those guys playing hard. And I think, you know, two comparable football teams that will be playing uh, this week. and should make for a really good game. Uh, really happy and proud of our guys for how they bounced back last week. Had a really good performance uh, against EKU. A lot of things we still need to fix, a lot of things we need to get better at, but love their preparation from last week, love their work ethic, their mentality, their attitude. We got to carry that over into this week, but uh, excited to start conference play and get going with Middle Tennessee week. With that said, questions? Just looking at this game, um, what are some advantages and maybe disadvantages of playing a conference game this early in the schedule? It always seems a little odd to, to kind of throw in a CUSA game in the middle of that non-conference slate. Well, um, I, I see what you're saying. There is there's some good and some some unknown there. You know, normally uh, you would have a couple games under your belt, but there is a lot of familiarity with with Middle Tennessee and us and. Um, so I really, it re really doesn't matter, in my opinion, whether it's early, middle, late in the season. When we play them, we both have two games under our belt. We both know our strengths, our weaknesses, and things we need to get better at. And so uh, I just think it's just a, another, another game that um, we got to prepare for, but an exciting game that you know it, it's a rivalry game and first conference game and good comparable opponent and so all those things add up for a good environment. Do you like that this game is, you know, this early in the season? I mean usually MTSU comes, you know, toward the end of October, you know, but you know, you're playing early this year, you know, still working things out. Do you like that as you know, at this part of the season? Uh, I think it times up well for us, you know. Um, again, you know, we got two games under our belt. They got two games. We we both get to evaluate each other, um, and so long as you have that, I think I think you're good. Um, so you know, we're just excited that to, to get down there and, and get the opportunity to see if we can get a conference win. This is probably the last bus trip game for you this year. Uh, do you like do you like that mode of travel? Do you prefer the flying? I mean, how do you prepare for these short trips like this? Uh, I like both of them. You know, they're both unique in their own way. Um, sometimes, you know, traveling by plane, depending upon the destination and how long the flight is, is, is a cool thing. And other times you're wanting to get to where you're going pretty quick. And obviously we can get to where we're going pretty quick in this game. And so I like them both. I think our team travels well. I think our guys like playing on the road. Uh, they get excited about playing on the road. So. How we've set up with the schedule this year, you know, we get home away, home away, home away, all the way down uh, for the for the full season. So, I kind of like that setup, and um, so times up pretty good for this particular game. You know, offensively on Saturday, you know, you finally convert in the red zone. Uh, once you got that first field goal, you know, straight touchdowns the rest of the way. You know, just you know, kind of looking back at it now, a couple of days later, you know, what are your thoughts? You know, offensively. Uh, I was happy with uh, our offensive performance for the most part. I think we had a lot of missed opportunities. We had three red zone opportunities that we didn't capitalize on. Um, we had a couple drop balls that would have been touchdowns. And, uh, you know, when you go into conference games like this on the road, you need to make those plays. So we certainly got to get better in that area. But I did like how we moved the ball. I thought we were efficient at times. I thought multiple players made explosive plays. That's good to see. Because, you know, it's a long season. Guys get injured and kind of a next man up mentality. Um, you know, I thought everybody kind of took a part in making their play. And, and so that was good to see. Um, but really, on all three phases, there's so much we can get a lot better at. I think we're trending in the right direction. It's always good to be able to fix those things that you need to work on when you win the previous week. Um, and we need to do that this week, uh, especially going into a big game like this. So the, the red zone efficiency would be one. What's something else that's kind of been on your mind to, to improve on? Uh, we got to get better. We've had a couple critical penalties. You know, we were bad with our hand placement out there in space, and we had an opportunity on a 
couple explosive plays that got called back. Uh, we had a personal foul in the game that, you know, we take a lot of pride in, in not having those type of penalties. Um, and again, in close games, those will come back to haunt you. You know, I thought, you know, defensively, we had a, a great performance. I mean, I'm so proud of our defense for the, for the shutout that they did, but had a couple critical times where in some short yardage situations where, where we still could have made, you could have shut them down and got the ball back offensively. Um, I'm probably nitpicking there a little bit, but there's always things that you can work on and, and get better at. I think everybody sees it, everybody recognizes it, and uh, we got to get better this week at it. I don't know how much you've been able to look at MTSU film. What are some things that they um, do well that you're going to try to neutralize or contain this week? You know, I think Coach Mason and, and his and his staff defensively, they're very experienced staff. They're a veteran staff. Again, you know, there's familiarity with, you know, Coach Friend, Coach Mason work together. You know, I coach against Coach Mason a couple times. Um, so we kind of know kind of each other's philosophies. So how do you counter those kind of things? Um, they do a nice job of, of you know, mixing up their looks and playing disciplined football defensively. Um, you know, offensively, I think, you know, the quarterback has, is a veteran player. He's a good leader. Uh, he, he's, he's a good thrower. He can, he can scramble with it and make plays. I think the running backs, are, you know, have done a really nice job up to this point. We're going to have to do a great job of tackling them. Have a couple new wideouts that I think can be explosive players for them. We got to make sure we're not allowing them to make the big plays. Their offensive line has always been a physical bunch, and and I see that on film again. Um, so, you know, they're they're putting the pieces together. I think they're very close, like we're very close, and that's why I'm I, when I say, hey, there's kind of two comparable teams right there. So it should make for a really good game. Yeah, uh, running backs, Elijah Nelson. Uh, I thought they did a nice job at times. You know, uh, again, when I said, hey, several players made some explosive plays, I thought, you know, it certainly um, our running back core should be included in that. Um, also, though, we got to get better. There were some plays that we could have made in, in the run game, some more yards that we didn't make. I think we got to be better with our eyes. We got to be better with, you know, our, our technique. Um, you know, so every position you can go and look at and say, as good as a performance as that group may have had, there's a lot we can get better at. But um, early in the season, happy where, where, where that unit is currently. But you guys got uh, Dallin Smith going late in this game. Really, kind of the first time he really contributed. Still looking for that from Mike Matheson. It looked like you were trying to get him involved with a reverse in the game and, and just trying to, to utilize him. But uh, how's that coming along? And uh, are you going to keep trying to kind of work him in? Yeah. Um, you know, tried to do a couple things with Mike early. Um, you know, Mike got dinged up, and I think kind of that limited him in the second half. He's fine. He'll, he'll be ready to play this week. Um, but it allowed us to get some other players involved, you know. Uh, Keyshawn uh, Johnson really flashed and showed up, and, and you know, particularly as the game got going. Like you said, Dalvin really got going in the second half. Those were all really good things to see. I think Coach Friend and the offensive staff is, you know, again, really starting to try to utilize players in different areas on key plays. I, I think we can continue to get better in that area. Again, having two two games under your belt, you kind of get to see what guys can do what and how you want to utilize them. So I think you'll see more and more guys being used in different ways from us. Thank you, Coach. All right, thanks, guys.